What is up? Vernon here, and if you're not familiar, this is Gaming Bites, where we talk about the biggest gaming stories of the week, starting with... Okay, I lied. It's not really a big news story, but I just I feel compelled to talk about it. I gotta get it out. There's so much just bottled up angst inside of me right now, and I just I need to let it out. And the thing that I need to talk about, again, is Tomb Raider, the definitive edition for the PS4 and the Xbox One, because it's really just upgraded graphics upgraded graphics for the next-gen consoles. They didn't really do anything else except give you the DLC that has come out over the last year since the original game was released in March of 2013. Uh, someone sent me a video um, basically describing the, the, the definitive experience and how the, the graphics are so great that you can reach out and, and almost feel like you can touch it and and 4x resolution and just going on and on and on about the about the uh, about the picture quality and about the the, the upgrades and, and how it looks and how it feels and just how Lara looks completely different from what we saw in the original release which came out last year. This actually ties into a response that I got on my previous video talking about Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. This member, and thank you for following holdthelime.com by the way, I really appreciate you you know, watching our content and stuff like that. So, but this person said that because they hadn't played the original Tomb Raider, they wouldn't mind dropping $60, you know, paying full price for this re-release of the same game because they wouldn't know the difference and because, you know, it's going to be on PS4 and Xbox One, so it's going to be a, the best graphical experience possible. Now, normally I would agree if it was coming with more than a graphical upgrade, the crappy multiplayer DLC and some, what, some change of clothes or something like that? This is what I'm talking about, people. You are too smart. You are too good to not be good customers and to do your research, even if you haven't played the game before. You have to know that, okay, if you look it up online, it shows that there is an original Tomb Raider, March 2013, as well as Tomb Raider, the Definitive Edition, as well as Tomb Raider, the Game of the Year Edition. So what is the difference between these three? The original Tomb Raider it was a great game. I thought it was uh, miles above some of the games that were in competition with it at the time. I thought it was a great change from the norm. The Game of the Year edition, which was to be expected, like Borderlands, like Batman, and games that have come before this, it was bound to get a Game of the Year edition. If people liked it and people wanted to get all the DLC in one place, they would re-release it for a cheaper cost and uh, you'd get all the DLC. So. That's pretty much what happens. It's a it's a value pack uh, for those who haven't played the game and want to get everything in one package for thirty bucks. Then you have the definitive edition, which was released for the next gen consoles. Now this comes with all of the DLC. This comes with all the outfits, the same as the game of the year edition, but it has some major graphical upgrades. Now when I say major graphical upgrades, I say that the main character, Lara Croft, looks like a completely different person, which is weird, like really weird. I, this is what I keep asking people, what is wrong with the, the original design of the character that we had? She, she actually looked like a human being. This chick looks like Tara Reid if she were actually an alien come to study the human race. Basically, I don't know who this new chick is, but she's not Lara Croft, okay? I had accepted the redesign that came out a year ago 
of Lara Croft. I had accepted that one and I was willing to move forward with that redesign of that specific character. Now they've redesigned the character again. Like I've said in the past, you can do whatever you want with your money. But me personally, Square Enix, you are not getting my money for this definitive edition when I finally get a PS4 or an Xbox One, okay? I enjoyed your original game, yes. Tomb Raider was great. I loved it, but I'm not gonna shell out another 60 bucks, a full game purchase, for a game that's just graphical upgrades. I can understand if Tomb Raider came out 10 years ago and they made a an anniversary collection or an anniversary remake with HD upgrades. Great, okay, fine. You know, release that for 30 bucks. You know, showcase it with the new graphics on the PS4 and the Xbox One. You know, do extra maps and stuff like that. Throw all that stuff in there for the fans. And you have a good game. You have a good sale right there. Number one, that they're trying to get more money out of my pocket. And number two, that, okay, they didn't have faith in the graphics that they were toting less than a year ago. Again, the game came out last March and they're remaking it. I, I, Forget the sales between the PS4 and the Xbox One of this particular game. They barely released it a year ago. How am I supposed to take that as a customer, as a, as a, as a gamer, as a, well, a video game news critic? But those are my thoughts. If you have anything to say, leave it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, my name is Vernon Tuit. I hope you enjoyed getting to it. Much love to you all, and I will see you next time on HoldTheLine.com.